Hello, this is Yandok Cha, TA of AI504. Today, we will cover variational autoencoder practice with PyTorch. This practice is very similar to the previous autoencoder practice, so I will assume you already knew the basic concepts of autoencoder and practice the implementation. Also, since the deriv derivation and the concepts of a variation like variational autoencoder is quite a bit more complicated than autoencoder. Uh, today's product practice assumes that you guys understand the VAE lecture materials by professor. Now let's begin with our Jupyter Notebook. As I mentioned, variational autoencoder is based on the autoencoder. Thus, we will slightly make changes in implementations of previous practice Jupyter Notebook. The main points of today's practice is understanding and implementing the model architecture and the loss function of a VAE. Before we move on to those main points, we first import some packages like this. Among them, there is one additional package introduced the first this time, called MakeGrid. MakeGrid package is supported by Torch Vision Util packages and it helps us make grid style figures from multiple images. We will make grid image of generated images from trained VAE. Hyperparameter for this time is similar to previous practice and you can use exactly the same hyperparameters of previous practice or you use your own hyperparameter in practice. The second step is data preparation step. The data preparation step is also the same with the previous practice. Note that the validation split is only used to evaluate our network is well trained or not in terms of loss observation. The core differences from the autoencoder and today's one of the main interest is understanding and implementing VAE. The overall structure and the process of a VAE are presented in this figure. The main training objective of VAE is very, very similar to that of onto encoder. We feed input images into VAE encoder to compress images into latent vector. This latent vector is then decoded to generate images which should be as identical as possible to the original images. In the sense of compressing input images, VA is quite different from autoencoder. It encodes input images in a stochastic manner. In other words, the probabilistic encoder tries to represent the input images into the following Gaussian distribution using signatures mu and the standard deviation. In this way, encoder and the decoder are not only trained to reconstruct given images, but also to structure given images a space to follow Gaussian distribution. Since VAE guides the input space to follow Gaussian distribution, VAE benefits to generate images which is different from reconstructing given images. In other words, one can generate images only from the sampled values from the Gaussian distribution. Different from these complicated concepts, implementation of a VAE is quite simple and very similar to autoencoder. We will implement a VAE with this input and output description. To restrict the model power small, we use one hidden layer and a ton H activation function only. The different thing we consider is a sampling process which encodes images into mu and log variance and it is implemented as FC mu and FC bar respectively in this initialized method. Now pause this video and implement the init method in the variational autoencoder class. After you implement it by yourself, play this video and check the blanks. The blanks will be filled like this. The encoder and the decoder module is a trivial, but you may wonder what the what for the FC mu and FC var. As the encode method presents, those two layers just output ten dimension sized vectors 
as mu and log variants. Following the forward method, you will understand those mu and log var will be passed to reparameterize method to sample latent vector z. Finally, the latent vector z will be given to reconstruct the images which are similar to input images. Then, what is the reparameterized method and why we do this? As mentioned before, we will not cover the detailed explanation about that in this practice, but in a nutshell, this is for making encoder part as a stochastic and enable to use backpropagation to optimize opti objectives. So now, you can implement the reparameterized method. Pause this video, and after implemented by yourself, play this video and check the blanks. Great! The standard deviation is easy since it is just kind of math. The epsilon is a sampled value from normal distribution which has the same size with standard deviation. Thus, the returned value of a reparameterized will be like that. The main other part of a VAE implementation is loss function. The loss function of autoencoder was just a simple MSC loss to measure differences between original image and reconstructed images. Similar to that, VAE loss also includes a reconstruction error defining by binary cross entropy loss. Binary cross entropy loss can be computed easily by using PyTorch module and we will use a summation reduction mode to make implementation easier. The other loss part is KL divergence loss part, which is a regularization term to make the variation distribution to be similar to the Gaussian prior. Now, let's implement the loss, loss term. Please pause this video and after implement it by yourself, play this video and check the blanks. If you follow well on the lecture notes and care about the reduction term of a VC loss, the blank will be filled like this. The training code is fully implemented and it is almost the same with the previous autoencoder practice. You can easily check the results with the loss plot of the train values splits. As you can see, VAE is trained well on the MNIST dataset in terms of loss plots. There are other options to evaluate our generative model works well. First of all, as previous practice, we can check whether VAE can reconstruct the input images or not. Since I provided two versions of a VAE, one with the smaller and the other with the larger capacity, you can easily compare the effectiveness of a model capacity to reconstruct the images in terms of quality. So now let's see the reconstructed and the original images. The trivial case of the digit 1 and the 4 reconstructed well, but the 2, I think it uh, quite a bit com be confused with the 7, and the 3 confused with the 8, and the 5 confused with the 3. Also, you can see that the higher capacity variation autoencoder uh, reconstructs the image better than the lower capacity variation autoencoder. Other qualitative method to evaluate our VAE is a visualizing encoded input images. As plotted, 10 digits are separated well on the feature space with trained VAE encoder. Those two evaluation methods are already presented in the previous practice. The third method is generating amnesty images only from the sampled latent vectors. Such outputs cannot be processed from autoencoder since autoencoder does not guide the input images into predefined prior space. Thus, 
It is very interesting to observe how the generated images changes through the latent space traversal. First of all, we leverage the encoded feature vector of a train subset. Since we already checked VA successfully encoded each disease and separated well, we we'll calculated the mean feature vectors of each disease from encoded feature vectors like this code. Then, we walk through the latent space between two digits mean feature vectors. In our case, I select I selected two uh, digit class 1 and 7. To be more specific, we interpolate two mean feature vectors, in my case 1 and 7, and generate images from trained VAE decoders like this. Generated images can be seen as follows using MakeGrid packages. You can change the selected class and make more observations on the traverse of latent space. These interpolated images indicate our VAE successfully project input space into predefined prior. Also, roughly speaking, one can say VAE learns visual semantics rather than memorizes them. Developing this idea, there have been many variations of VAE with interesting ideas. I recommend you to follow recent literature of VAE with this basic practice. This is all that I prepared for this session. Thank you for listening.